I got to figure out a way to grow three years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. When humans go to Mars, we know they're going to need to grow food. What, what do you need to grow food? Well, you need nutrients for the food. Do you need soil? Not necessarily. One of the things we've learned about Mars is that the soil has a particular toxic salt in it, perchlorate. It's toxic to the thyroid. Plants need water, humans need water. Mars has water. It doesn't have anywhere near as much water as Earth, but there's water in the atmosphere, water in the ground as hydrated minerals, and also water in the ground as ice. We now grow food hydroponically, so if you provide the food with water and the water contains nutrients dissolved in the water, and plants are quite okay with that. We need a source of energy, and there's plenty of that on Mars. You have sunlight. So you could imagine a hydroponic greenhouse on Mars. One of the places where we've been doing tests is in the Arctic on Earth. The climate there is very dry, very cold, and we've been operating a robotic greenhouse there for the past few years. So we've been able to learn how to grow crops even in a very extreme environment here on Earth. Right now, what we're focusing on is just the very first step. Can we take seeds, send them to Mars, and show that they germinate? If the seeds don't germinate, nothing else matters. The reason that we should worry about whether they germinate or not is primarily because the gravity is a us. Gravity on Mars is one-third the gravity on Earth. There's nothing we can do about it. We think that that's going to be fine for plants, but we're not sure of that. So we are focusing on designing a small experiment that would just send a few seeds to Mars on a rover mission and show that they could grow you know, just a few centimeters. First step, we can send robots to Mars, have them build a garden, have them test it all out, so that when the humans finally do go, it's more like checking into a hotel. The first humans that go to Mars will be guinea pigs. I would sign up to go to Mars in a heartbeat. In spite of how hostile Mars is, I really believe that we are gonna see humans explore the planet. That's a big difference from saying that we're gonna be living on Mars. If at any point we discover that Mars has life and that life is different and indigenous, then I think we have to reassess what our plans are. Personally, I would say that we, at that point, don't go to Mars. We quarantine it. We encourage the life that's there to grow and flourish as its own life form on its own planet. The vision of human exploration of Mars is compelling. I am the greatest botanist on this planet.